my name is Momo Dusi. I am a Gambian. I can run faster than Usain Bolt. Yeah, because Usain Bolt believes himself and then that's why he is where he is right now. And he's someone that always listens. And he's someone that always hate to lose. I can remember when he once lose his race, he was beaten by someone, he cried. He cried a lot. I told him, look, this is athletics. You fight, today you lose, you work tomorrow, you come back and win another day. And that's what he did. He work the following season, he became a champion. When it comes to his physical performance, and his, I can say all his entire training, I can give him 90 to 95%. He worked very hard. He used to train very hard, compared to others. Mamadou will train day in, day out, morning and afternoon. Strength and power, these are two things that make a sprinter. If you want to run faster, these are two things involved. More of explosivity, because this is what we need to be able to execute. Running means um, the whole life for me. Because um, at this point in time, without running, I am nowhere, and then I am nothing. Yeah, being a Gambian, you know, everybody, you have to be proud of your nation. Even the nation is not giving you anything, but you have to be proud of your nation because it's the nation who make you to be who you are. I love my country. Though I may love all other countries, but my country, whatever I have, I have to bring it back to the country and then share it with my nation. Because there are a lot of athletes that need help and then that need support. If I get to that level to help those people, I have to come back to the Gambia and then help them. Okay, now. Um, I'm gonna show you where I live, where I come from, where I, where I do normally come from to go for training every day. This is the compound that I'm staying with. I'm staying with my uncle and then my, my niece and then my cousins and then the, my aunt. So this is, the, this is the room that I do normally sleep every day. You know, it's like... It's like a five-star hotel here. <laughs> okay, this is my place. This is my my bed. I don't normally sleep here every day. So uh, these are my my sport shoes, um, the shoes that I do normally use for training. Here is my house, you know. And then, as you can see, there is another picture here. Um, it was like a competition in the Gambia that was the 100 meters. I am to win the 100 meters um, during during that time. So it is really amazing, you know. Yeah, the Gambian people, you know, they like it. The Gambian people didn't like to be the flag is go up. I think Modu can bring the Gambian flag up. Even when I am running in the highest level of the competition in the world, I must give back to the Gambia. Because it's Gambia that I have and then it's Gambia that I love. I came from a very poor background. We went there and then you see everything by yourself. 
So being an athlete and then everybody is talking about me in the country doesn't mean that I have to change my personality. So I have to be the same with them, you know, spend time with them every time. I don't have to be boasting like, you know, here, here is Momodu, you know, everybody is talking about him now. I have to be down to earth every time being with them, happy with them. I don't have to hide myself or stay away from the people now, always with the people if I have free time. We are at the upper basic right now. Yeah, this is the school that I was attending. I started doing athletics here. So it was really amazing, you know. Hey, Mr. Long. Hey, Black. Yeah. Full left. Um, my relationship um, beside running is, you know, socialize with people, socialize with friends, and then be happy with, with them, spend time with them, you know, that's the only thing that I have. Mamadou was a very disciplined, hardworking and generous boy. Yes, Mamadou used to have a lot of friends. In fact, he was one of the counselors. He was one of the class prefect in the school. And he was a leader. I have known Mamadou for so long. We grew up together, we were raised in the same community. All I can say about him is like, he was born brave and he also loved sport a lot. And this thing started as a talent in him. It was like, if I can recall, during our childhood days, you know, it is a custom in the Gambia, especially in Africa, most especially in the Gambia. Whenever we see white men like you, we go after you, chasing you, asking for sweets and stuff like, that can, that can benefit us. You know, there's a way bridge here where the tourist cars normally pass before they reach Ubarra, where they take the ferry and cross. During our childhood days, whenever we see these people, we deem it necessary that we have to run after them and chase them, ask for sweets and stuff like. And whenever such happens, he always took force because it was sort of a race. From there, when he started doing this, becoming an athlete, I recall my mind from there that this boy was great since he was young because that was in sort of a race and he always took force. Um, this is the ground that I started running, and then this is the place that I started realizing myself that, you know, I can be a better athlete because they have given me the opportunity and then they've given me the chance to run and then, you know, encouraging me every day. So it's a place where I will never and ever forget, you know. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he is funny because he brings the phone to the team. Yeah, sometimes we will come to training and then everybody will be sad, you know, people will be scattering around and then he will be motivating us, joking so that we will all come together. He's that kind of guy when he's there, always. We have the spirit and then the zeal to work hard, you know, to be with him. He's a so nice guy. Yeah, he brings the spirit to the group. Without the help of the people, I see myself nowhere. So I have to socialize with them, be happy with them every time, so that, you know, I can be happy, you know. He always laugh. He like, yeah, yeah, he like uh, funny things. He like creating jokes so that people can laugh at that. You know, if you have a person, that kind of person in a family, sometimes, you know, it brings the family together. The way you see him like this, that he is, that's the way he is. He is open to everyone. He is very, very open to everyone. If he has something to tell to his brothers, he will consult them and say, bro, this and this and this. So he seek advice to them. Yeah, my brother, you know, he is really cool. Yeah, whatever I do, even my secret, sometimes I have to tell him. Just to seek advice from him, to see what I am doing is correct or not. Because at least he is older than me, and then he knows better than me sometimes. He's a really cool person though. Yeah, I like him. Mamadou, I'm his uncle. Yes, Mamadou is a nice man. He's a humble man. He's very honest. He's not somebody like he's going to do something bad. No, he's a very good boy. He's very good. I never see somebody who came to here and said, Mamadou, do this for me. No. No. 
always anybody came here for Momo, his friends, he came here, and I, they like him. I know this guy is good. We have to be there for each other and then help each other. Being a Christian, being a Muslim, you know, we all believe in God. Sometimes we have some little conflict, but when we sit and then think about what we are doing, it's not right. We have to reconcile again and then be together again, and then life goes on. Okay, Momodu, come in, could you be more careful? Wow, because now, senior, I'm going to be the dark side of the neck. Kon nyulul moni bole nyom ba tahna luru nyunit nyilene japele chilwa lebu mana neku nyunen chie japele. Yeah, um, my relationship to God is like, uh, you know, mom brought me because I lost my dad when I was in two years of age, so I didn't know my father. And then mom, my mom brought me like, you know, a real believer. That's why I didn't care about losing my father or not, because I've never sat down thinking about my father, because my mother is my father, is she is my mother. Yeah. So that's the belief she taught in me, and then make me to believe that there is a God who is helping everybody. If you pray to him, he will give it to you. As we are, we are Muslims, we learn it in the Quran that whatever you ask God, God will give it to you in either this way or, or the other way. Yeah, always when you, when you pray to God, God will answer your prayers. That's why I believe in Him. Whatever I want to be in life, I will be in life because I always pray to Him. Are you going to drive away? There is a relationship between mother and a child. <laughs> the love, it's really amazing. No one can give you that. So I can call the other people like, I can call them like my father, my uncle, but my mother is my everything. Yeah. I have to make her proud, make her happy one day. Je me suis dit que je suis venu à la maison. 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 Before she go or before I go, I have to do something for her at least just to make her happy and then make her comfortable now. Because she really work really hard, you know. She is suffering every day because of us. So we have to give back if we have. But I'm sure that I will give her something one day. Yeah. She keep telling me, Momolu, always keep focus and then keep trying. What you are doing, God will answer our prayers one day. And now here it is, things are changing every day. I wish him all the best. And I'm sure a day will come. Mamadou will be one of the best in this world. He can hit 9.5 or 9.4. Mamadou is the ex-offender. Genius. Hey, Mamadou, come on, you're there. Super. I describe him as a perfect gentleman. I'm like, <laughs> I'm not even talking about Gambia. I'm talking about the whole world. I can be the fastest man in the world. Because the fastest man in the world is a human being, and then I am a human being. So what he can do, I can do it. Okay. <laughs> Momodu, I am just me. Yeah. 
What am I do? Hello, hi, bye-bye.